Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Excel session and today we will learn how to calculate productivity in Excel using some product function. In this example, we have a list of tickets of different priority. The productivity is the ratio of output to input. In this example, the output will be total number of resolved tickets and input will be number of distinct team members who resolved these incidents. Now to calculate the total number of resolved tickets, we will use count A function. So in cell C3, type equals to count A, open bracket. Now select the data starting from A8 till end using control shift down key press f4 closing bracket and press enter now to get the distinct number of team members we will use count if function to understand the method i have added a blank column and in the first row type equals to count if open bracket now select the range of cells having team members. So select C8 till and using control shift down key. Press F4 comma select cell C8 closing bracket and press enter. The result is 2 which means a Vijit name is appearing 2 times in the list. Now drag the formula and for each name it will show how many times that name is appearing in the list. Now if we use division operator with 1 as dividend then it will convert the value to a fractional number. Now drag the formula and the total of all fractional values for a name will be 1. So for Abhijit, the fractional value is 0 0.5 and the sum is 1. Similarly, for Abhilasha, there are 3 rows and the sum of fraction number will be 1. And the sum of all the fractional numbers will give you the count of distinct. To get the count of distinct team members, we will use some product function. So type equals to sum product open bracket 1 divided by count if open bracket now select the range from c8 till end using control shift and down arrow key press f4 comma now in place of single cell reference we will use array of same cells so again select cell c8 till end press f4 closing bracket for count if closing bracket for sum product and press enter so the output is the count of all distinct members to calculate the productivity in cell e3 type equals to total resolved tickets divided by distinct team member count press enter and it will give you the productivity now to calculate the productivity of high priority tickets only we have to use the same formula with a condition first to get the resolved tickets of high priority only type equals to count if open bracket now select the range from d8 till end using control shift down arrow key press f4 comma and select cell b4 having required priority closing bracket and press enter the total number of high priority incident are 52. Now to calculate the input, 
the distinct team members who have resolved these 52 tickets type equals to sum product open bracket to define the condition open bracket the required priority is high so select cell b4 equals to and select the range in which priority is available so select cell d8 till end using control shift down key press f4 closing bracket the condition will return true or false type double minus operator to convert true and false to 1 and 0 respectively type asterisk for the second array we'll use 1 divided by count ifs open bracket the first criteria is the team member so select cell c8 till and press f4 comma and select the same cell again so c8 till and press f4 now comma the second criteria is the priority so select cell d8 till end press f4 comma select cell b4 having required priority closing bracket for count ifs closing bracket for second array and closing bracket for some product function the second array will return error if the priority is not high so to convert all error to zero we will use if error function comma zero closing bracket for some product now remember we are using if error function inside some product function means you will use control shift enter key to calculate the productivity is equal to cell c4 divided by cell d4 if i select high priority tickets there are 52 tickets and there are 60 members who have resolved these high priority incidents now we can use some product function for multiple conditions also to calculate productivity of medium priority incidents which are of gp hyphen sap group so to get the resolved tickets type equals to count ifs open bracket select the range for priority d8 till end press f4 comma the required priority is in cell b5 so select cell b5 comma second condition is for group so select range b8 till end in which group names are available press f4 comma select cell a5 in which required group is available press f4 closing bracket and press enter so there are five tickets of medium priority and resolved by gp hyphen sap group now to get the distinct team members who have resolved these five incidents we will again use some product function with three different arrays so some product open bracket the first condition is for priority type double minus operator to convert true and false to one and zero respectively for priority select cell b5 equals to select range in which priority is available so select d8 till end press f4 closing bracket a strict sign opening bracket and the second condition is for group the required group is in a5 so select cell a5 press f4 equals to select the range in which group is available so select cell b8 till end press f4 closing bracket type double minus operator 
to convert true and false to 1 and 0 respectively. Type asterisk sign again. The third condition will be count if statement. So 1 divided by count ifs open bracket for team members select range C8 till end press F4 comma will compare with the same range select cell C8 till end press F4 comma for priority select cell D8 till end press F4 comma the required priority is in cell B5 comma the third condition is group name so select cell B8 till end press F4 comma the required group in cell A5 press F4 closing bracket for count ifs again the count if function will return division by zero error if the required group and priority is not available so to convert all error to zero we will use if error function comma zero closing bracket for count ifs closing bracket for if error closing bracket for sum product function again the sum product function contains if error so we will use control shift enter key and it will show that there are two distinct members who have resolved these five tickets of medium priority and GP hyphen SAP group. So the productivity will be total ticket resolved divided by the distinctive members. So in this way, you can calculate the productivity in Excel using some product function. If you like the content, press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of new videos. Thanks for watching.